Hey guys, as Nigerians continue to condemn Bumi's advocacy for negotiating with bandits, the president of the Supreme Council for Islamic Preachers, this man is from the from the southwest. He reacted to Ugumi's advocacy for negotiating with bandits. His name is Ake Bagud. He pointed to the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad the saw as a guiding principle, highlighting the Prophet's proactive approach in confronting terrorists rather than engaging in negotiations with them. He emphasized the ineffectiveness of Gumi's negotiation efforts, highlighting the, the perpetration of violence fueled by the firms acquired through such engagement. In an interview with Trib Tribuna, uh, he, the president questioned the rationale behind negotiating with, ban with terrorists, challenging Gumi to present a single hadith from the Holy Prophet supporting such actions. He emphasized that Prophet Muhammad saw actively pursued and fought against terrorists rather than seeking to negotiate with them. He underscored the importance of adhering to Islamic teachings and principles in addressing security challenges, advocating for more uh, assertive approach in combating terrorism in Nigeria. The president appealed to Gumi to emulate the example set by his father, a reverend cleric known for his, his piety and wisdom. He encouraged, encouraged Gumi to return to the path of teaching and guiding people in Islam, rather than engaging in negotiations with terrorists. He expressed concern over the lack of tangible results from Gumi's uh, negotiation effort, pointing out that the funds obtained by the bandits are often used to procure arms, perpetrating the circle of violence. Ahmed Gumi, a prominent cleric based in Kaduna, has garnered attention for his advocacy of negotiating with bandits and integrating them back, integrating them back into the society. Why Ake Bagod advocates for a proactive and principled stance in combating terrorism. Gumi's advocacy for negotiations reflects a different approach aimed at achieving peace and reconciliation. Hear him. Why would you negotiate with terrorists, he asked. Gumi should show us a single hadith of the Holy, uh, Holy Prophet where he negotiated with terrorists. It never happened. The Holy Prophet would go after terrorists to fight and win them he okay please pardon me he would never negotiate i am appealing to gumi he comes from a notable home his father has a reputation as one of the most respected clerics gumi should take after his father he should go back to the classroom and teach people islam and guide them towards the way of Allah, instead of going into the bush to negotiate with terrorists. It is not Islamic, and since he has been negotiating, has there been any solution? The money they collect, they use it to buy hams. Well, this man just speak the truth, whether you like it or not. They said, truth is bitter. But he has, he has said it all. Since Gumi had been advocating for negotiations, for these people, these bandits. What change has he made in Nigeria? These people still keep on attacking Nigerians every now and then. They keep on destroying people's homes, you know, sacking people from their ancestral homes. So they have never stopped. That means the negotiation process is not working. You negotiate with these people, you pay them money, the same money you pay to them, they will use it to go and uh, uh, procure more sophisticated weapons so that by tomorrow they will come again 
when they will come after you by then, they will really stage against you. Who is fooling who? Nigerian government negotiate, negotiating with bandits. It has never helped them. But the Northerners, to the, to, 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 to the extent that Northern elders backed Gumi, that, they should, that Nigerian government should negotiate with bandits. Now, these people that have been coming to adopt your children, abduct you from your home, chase you from your farmland, you no longer have food to eat because you can no longer go to the farm. In uh, some communities in Niger State, if you not get money to pay bandits for your levies to go to farm, you know they go anywhere. Hunger will kill you for us. You get. So this kind of lifestyle, and the Northerners, we are looking at it like it's normal, comparing the Niger Delta militants, who at least the world know that they fought for, for something. You get. So somebody who will just wake up, they will invade a whole community and they will bring it down. What are they called? Are they, are they not criminals? What are they even fighting for? They go, go me keep on, you know, uh, negotiating. They keep on advocating for negotiation. You see now, as they don't, as they don't pay them money for those Kaduna children they adopted, Gumi not they talk again. He will start talking again when another one will, will happen. This semester, sorry, this term now has finished. They have settled those people, right? Uh -huh. By the time they will resume again for the next term, they are going to adopt again, and the Nigerian government will pay. And they, they know why they are going for children. Uh -huh. They know why they are going for children. They don't look and say, now nah, only children matter. They will feed, they get money sharp, sharp without delay. So guys, what's your take on what this, um, the president of the Supreme Clear, uh, uh, Council for Islamic Preachers have told Ahmed Gumi, how do you see it? I've been making hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you for always stopping by.